Hello guys, in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to make this little nifty waterfall gauge in Excel and I'm very excited to bring this to you. Remember to hit that like, hit this little subscribe button down below and let's jump straight into this one. So I'm going to go into my Excel real quick. I'm here in my Excel spreadsheet and I just want to show you guys what we're working with here. So I'm tracking a metric, this can be any metric in a percentage. So let's say we change this uh, 75 to 50%, you will see the water dipping down to 50%. Or if you change it to a 90%, it will fill up almost to the top. So this is a very nice, dynamic and awesome waterfall gauge that we're going to create now. So I'm going to start off in my new sheet. So let's put here in A1 our metric that we're tracking. And let's say 75% here in B1. So step one is you're going to click wherever your metric is, in my case it's B1, and we're going to go to insert, and we're going to insert a basic uh, 2D column. So this is our 2D column that's been created, very important, we're going to double click on the uh, graph here, so the form, format chart area comes alive, you're going to click on the left hand axis, the Y axis, and you will see this axis options uh, appearing. And I would like you to go to minimum, just put it in a zero, and in maximum you put it in a one. So there we go, so one for 100%, so that will automatically update. And then we can also take away all the, the axis here, the chart title, as well as the grid line. So we just get this basic form, and we also want to change this gap width. So you just click on the bar itself, and here in gap width, we put in let's say 27 hit enter so we get this little fat chart this little thick chart here and we're gonna change our chart just a little bit here and what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into uh, powerpoint so we're going to use powerpoint for this one as well so i'm just going to jump into my powerpoint here so this is a little shape that i've downloaded from the internet this is give, gives us our top bar uh, squiggly uh, shape here so I'm gonna leave a file for you guys uh, down below to download for this PowerPoint to have this little image available so I would like you guys to go and go insert a shape and we're gonna just insert a basic rectangle so just a rectangle you're gonna reshape this rectangle let's make it a little bit thicker double click on it and we're gonna take out the shape line so I'm just gonna say no outline and we're going to reshape this image on top of this bar. So I'm just going to put it down there and reshape it that it looks more or less the same. And obviously the color is not the same. So I'm just going to quickly disable my mouse pointer. So my mouse pointer will be disabled here. Uh, there we go. Just going to exit my mouse pointer. So we have this. Okay, so there's my little mouse. I just want to double click on this rectangle. You're going to go to shape fill up above and you're going to click on eyedropper and if you've got this eyedropper you hover over the blue color on top and you click on it and it will make it the same as well just send this one to the front uh, and let's hide this one a little bit to the back and there we go so we've got this nice looking color i'm just going to reactivate my color sheet here and i'm just going to minimize there we go just have this back for my color I'm going to double click on both images, click on it, holding control and click on it again to select both, right click and put on group. We want to group this together so we've got this nice little bar as well. Hit control C to copy this and we're going to head back to Excel. So I'm going back to my Excel, anywhere in your Excel sheet, for my case it's let's say G4. Control V to paste. So this is our bar that we just created in PowerPoint. Hit Control C once again to copy this and you click on the bar inside that we created and hit Control V. Now this creates a replica of this bar. You, you can delete this bar, you don't need this anymore. So now if this changes to 50, it dips to 50. And if it goes to 90, it goes up to 90 and 50 once again. So we've got the water flowing which is very nice but it's not in that nice little circle uh, that we want so let's head back to PowerPoint to get that done as well so in PowerPoint I would like you go to insert we're gonna work with two shapes there's a one shape a rectangle once again 
You're going to reshape this rectangle, make it a little bit larger. We're going to give it a shape fill. It should be white. So if you hover it over this shape, it should cover it. That's perfect. We're also going to go and insert a shape uh, oval as well. There's a basic shape. We put in an oval and we're going to resize it. Let's make it a little bit more reasonable size. I think that's perfect. And you will see there's red lines coming up if you get to the center. That's in perfectly in the center placed. There we go. And then you can also double click on the circle and shape full. We don't want a full, no full. So, and we're also going to combine these two shapes. So you right click and you need to select both shapes. Merge shapes here on the left top hand corner. And we're going to click on combine. So now that it's combined, we just want to test. If we hover over it, oh, you see it doesn't cover it up. So I would like you to click on the rectangle, go to shape full once again, and you click on white. So if you click on it, so you'll see you get this effect. Oh, that's perfect. That's very nice. That's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm just going to put place it here. I'm going to hit Control C once again, and I'm going to hit Control V to make a copy. So why do I need to make a copy? I don't want the outer line visible. So you will see this is a, a line here. Oh, you can delete this one. We need to paste it as a picture. So you go to paste here on the top, click on uh, the drop down, and I'm going to paste as a picture because only a picture is able to be cropped. If you double click on this, you won't have this crop option above. So only if you double click on the picture that we pasted, you can go to crop. So we want to crop. This will give us the option to play with these black handlebars here. And we can crop out the, excuse me, just going to undo. We're going to crop out that outer uh, line. There we go, hit crop. And now we've got this nice looking perfect shape that we need. I'm going to highlight this, you're going to say Control C and we're going to finally hit back to Excel. Alright, then in Excel we're going to hit Control V and this will paste our shape and now we can just hover over our new shape that we created and we would like to reshape it to fit our uh, bar here. So we're going to reshape it, there we go and we're going to reshape it a little bit more there we go so it hits all the corners there there we go it can be a little bit inner a little bit in so you just reshape it and you can bring it in a little bit and we can take it to our shape here so that's about 75 percent so there we go that's the look and feel that we're going for and the final step you're going to go to insert we're going to insert a text box here and you're just going to click anywhere here and you're going to in the text box you're going to go to the formula bar and you're going to say equals b1 wherever your metric is and you're going to hit enter and this is a little bit uh, too small for my liking so i'm going to just increase the size that is a little bit more readable you can make it bold if you want to and you can place it in the middle so that's 75 percent so if you're going to hit 50 here so let's say a metric depth, we're going to go to 50%. You can resize it if it's not too nice, or you can go to 80%. There we go. And that's our shape. Done and dusted, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit those like buttons. Hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you for our next episode. Cheers, guys.